City Farmer TV here. I'm with David Tracy, author of the Gardening Gorilla Green. Tell me what it's called. Gorilla Gardening uh, Emanuel Festival. Thank you so much, David. And he is invited me here today to see what's over his shoulder. Tell us what's going on today. Thank you. Uh, we're getting a rainwater harvesting cistern system set up here at Strathcona Community Gardens. And he said, uh, "There's Bob doing it from rainwater." Connections. Right, and he said it was about 2,000 gallons, right? Yeah, yeah. So if the city's rain barrel is 70 gallons, this is a lot of water connected. That's a lot of water. And what are you going to do with it? Difference. What are you going to do with the rainwater? Uh, we'll collect the water in the winter. We have to turn off the water here in the winter because we have all our exposed pipes and irrigation and we worry about them freezing up. Yeah. So while we have that water off, we work year round because, you know, the climate we're in, we can garden year round. But it's a bit of a problem sometimes with no water when we do things like repotting. Uh, just watering some of the plants that are in the nursery lock up there. If we don't have that water, we always have that struggle for those few months where it's off. Having this water collected off the roof means we'll be able to keep doing that work year round without that problem. And we'll be using it to water a lot of the new trees you see right around you in the orchard here. And this is great. This is one of the few large rain collectors in the city. As I say, most people have the rain barrel, but this is one of the first cisterns. And uh, tell me how you got it again. It was special. Uh, we were quite fortunate. Uh, Organic Gardening Magazine put on a, I don't know if it was a contest or what, through Nature's Path, I guess, were sponsoring it. And they selected, uh, I suppose it was 20 gardens around North America to get these rainwater cistern systems. And we were one of the ones lucky enough to be chosen for it. Fabulous. Well, I'm going to take another look at it. Thanks so much, David.